I've been looking to build a telescope here for a little while now to get a permanent mount in my garden. I started off with a 10 millimeter thick sheet of steel, which was really difficult to cut, but eventually got a 400 by 400 and 300 by 300 piece for the top and bottom. I then sourced some 200 millimeter pipe, which were a nine millimeter thick wall, which was difficult to source and brother-in-law welded that together for me. I then went ahead and painted that all up and also set a concrete base. I used M12 threaded stainless rod and ultimately this was about 500, half a meter uh, deep. So it's got a really nice solid and uh, robust foundation. Piers and pier construction is all new to me, but I wanted to keep away from the rat nest design. I don't like the idea of such a strong base and then suspending the mount on some threaded rod. So I decided to create my own custom adapter, which I'm turning here on the lathe. It started out with a 200 millimeter uh, billet of aluminium, and I'm essentially replicating the base of my current tripod mount. Um, and I'm gonna replicate that on this mount that you can see I'm building. One advantage of the rat's nest, of course, is to allow you to access the central bolt and in this design, I'm going to bolt the adapter permanently through the central bolt and actually lock the adapter down onto the table using the outside slots, as you can see uh, on the video here. And at the top there, you can see the slot for the azimuth bolts so that that adjustment is made using the new adapter plates. So this is the final adapter plate that I've come up with. And basically it recreates the uh, mount on the bottom of the tripod so ultimately the whole thing is going to slide on to the bottom of the NEQ6 we're then going to tighten up um, the bolts onto here but it's nothing to do with the line it's just tightening them up for a bit uh, to make them a bit firmer and then insert the M12 bolt through the bottom there and then ultimately we will then be able to adjust it on the base plate on the pier. So that's it mounted now on the base plate. So we're gonna pop this now onto the pier. So that's the pier. Pop it into the concrete. And then there's the pier adapter. And as I showed you before, that is bolted down onto the top plate and then this is screwed up that gives you no adjustment now instead the adjustment now is the plate on the bottom plate so basically there's the same mechanism uh, with a pin up on the bottom plate and that's going up here and basically you can adjust them but obviously you have to slack it off the bolts first um, I'm not totally happy with the clamp down bolts I'm not too sure whether I can get them tight enough so there's a couple of things I'm going to do there either a slot each side so you can use a wrench or a spanner I should say to tighten them up or the biggest problem ultimately I just have normal socket head screws down on there the biggest problem was my lathe wasn't big enough to actually turn this I've mentioned before so ideally I would have turned this shoulder further back a lot further back so you could have just had space the problem I've got is that no other if I don't clamp on the top plate there then ultimately I can um, I've not got enough room to, to clamp down, so I'd have to take it back to the lathe and turn that down. I might do that if I get any vibrations or anything like that, but like I say, it's really, really tight down. Um, so I'll give it a go and see how it works. Uh, hope you like the idea. If there's anything flaws with it that you can see, rather than using the standard rat's nest, let me know. Cheers, thanks for watching.